Tomorrow is Veterans Day, and today we are sharing some very special stories of veterans that have served in the U.S. military. And joining me today actually is our very own Aubrey Urbanowitz's father, Dale Urbanowitz, a Navy veteran who served in the Vietnam War. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I know we have a very special guest also joining us virtually, Bill Sheehan. He is the author of Together We Served Stories of Combat Hospital Corpsmen Serving in the Vietnam Jungles. He will be uh, joining us very shortly. But first, Dale, um, I wanted to talk to you personally about um, your service, if you could highlight um, what you did. Well, I graduated in 1967, and of course the war was going on, <clears throat> and um, my only option to move forward was to get drafted in the Army, and I uh, wanted to avoid that, so I joined the Navy. A bunch of my high school mates uh, were doing the same. And in January of 1968, I uh, went to boot camp, and um, um, I actually was trying to stay out of Vietnam, that's why I joined the Navy, but uh, I went into the uh, cor cor medical corpsman occupation and went to school and started working in hospitals. I worked at Annapolis Naval Hospital, uh, got some experience, and then I was able to transfer to uh, Indian Head uh, Naval Ordnance Station in Indian Head, Maryland. And um, from there, I, um, I actually wanted to see the world a little bit. I tried to get on a ship, couldn't get on a ship. Corpsmen were in demand because of Vietnam. Mm -hmm. So we were getting experience and then they were shipping us over. And I actually had orders to Japan from Indian Head and somebody caught wind that I hadn't been to Vietnam and they changed them. And, ended up going to Vietnam, so. All right, and you mentioned Indian Head, and I know um, we're joined now by Bill, um, who served with you in Indian Head, um, but Bill, if you maybe wanna talk about now um, why you felt it was so important to share the stories, not only obviously of Dale, um, but the other men that you served with um, in Vietnam. Uh, absolutely, so I, I, uh, I, was in, I was in Vietnam in 1968, uh, so I'm, I'm, I was two uh, years uh, ahead of Dale in uh, boot camp, core school, and so forth. Um, I served over in uh, Rota, Spain for, for a while and then went to FMF school and then on to Vietnam. So uh, when I was, uh, when I returned to the States, I went to Indian Head, Maryland, and that's where I met Dale. And we worked together there for, uh, I would guess, about a year. Um, I was discharged and... Uh, then he went on to Vietnam in 1970. So I, I received an email several years ago um, uh, requesting uh, I come to a reunion for 1st Battalion, 1st Marines, which was the group I served with uh, in Vietnam. And uh, I, I started looking at all the uh, names that were, uh, uh, were gonna join in the, in the uh, reunion. And I saw a lot of familiar names. So I started contacting uh, several of them. And I hadn't talked to these guys for over 50 years. Um, you know, I wanted to leave that part of my life behind me and uh, not think about it uh, anymore. And, uh, but I started uh, uh, renewing acquaintances with the, uh, some of these guys and we were all telling the same stories. And the, so many of them said, you know, you have so many stories that you, you, you need to write a book. And I thought about it and I thought, yes, I do need to put this in a book, but it wants to be told uh, by contributors, not just by me. So when we, when all these stories were contributed and I starting, started to put them together in a book, it was amazing how, how similar the stories were. So I called, I think I called Dale, I'm not sure, or we, or we, or we, uh, we communicated by email and I asked him, would he, uh, would he contribute a story? He agreed. And so one of his, a story, one of his stories appears in the book. Uh, and number 13 was, uh, was a young corpsman that served in Iraq. And uh, he was a highly decorated Navy corpsman and uh, was an amputee. And uh, uh, I, I, uh, uh, I uh, talked to him through the Gary Sinise Foundation and uh, we became good friends. And so his, his story appears in the book as well. Well, I know I and everyone here at WHSV appreciates your service, Bill, and of course your service, Dale. Um, and thank you both so much for your time today. And again, thank you for your service. Thank you.